Hi guys, it's Salman here from A Garden Revived. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Salman. I document my gardening experiences and journey here. So this morning, while I was having my coffee, I thought to myself, what if I drew a idea of what I wanted the garden entrance to look like eventually? And then I realized, wow, I really cannot draw that well, but I can use Photoshop. So why don't I make a render of what I want it to look like in my idealized world if I had the perfect soil and no drainage issues and everything like that. And I also did place some of the plants that I already have in this garden space in my entrance in my render. So let me show you. I'm going to share my screen with you. This is the photo I took in 2021 at the end of summer of the garden entrance. And this next photo is my render of what I kind of want it to look like eventually. So let me show you. Uh, that is so pretty. I, it's so satisfying to see this because this is what I've been seeing in my mind for this space for like, oh, I say a long time, maybe like three years. Let's do that before and after again. Because that, oh, that is so satisfying that is so satisfying okay i do have one more render of this with even more plants like super tunias uh some delphinium and a bunch of other things but so let me show you what i have in this space so i'm just going to get out a little marker to draw with mm -hmm. all right so this hedge, you see this hedge go kind of like in an L shape in the background. I kind of really want a holly hedge that gets about 10, 15, 20 feet tall. I love the way holly look. They do extremely well in our area and they get those beautiful berries in the winter time. And it's just so pretty. And I have actually about 30 of them growing from plugs on my patio right now. I ordered a bunch of plugs last season and they've been growing. They started out this big and now they're like this big and they filled out a one gallon size. So perhaps that's what I'll make my hedge out of, but I'm still researching, you know, the perfect hedge. And this super bright pink bush right here, I'm going to circle it. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. That is a spilled wine, Wigella. And it is so perfect. It is a shrub. And I don't have one in the space now, but I imagine this would be a wonderful spot for it because this area, this area right here, this whole section right here, gets full morning sun and it gets the setting sun as well. Whereas this area right here gets full sun up until the sun sets. So... I really want a spilled wine Wigella. I'd love to have an urn like this. Just something to have like some structure and a focal point of some sorts. It just looks so formal. Now, pink elephant in the room, the disgusting AC unit. Hate that. Hate is a strong word, but that is how I feel. Grateful for it, but absolutely do not love where it is. So I didn't even bother to cover that up because I can't even imagine the expense of having that moved somewhere else. So I'm just going to leave it there and uh, just uh, work around it. <laughs> just going to pretend like it's not there. And then right behind here, I actually do have this shrub growing back here. This is a sunshine ligustrum and it has that super, super pretty lime green color. I think that contrast with this Wigella with the dark purple foliage and the pink flowers is so pretty. And right behind that, there is a Japanese maple, which I actually have one growing right there in the spot right now with the two um, kind of stems like that. Except mine is like barely like five feet tall. It's like barely four feet tall. <laughs> um, but it's back there. And one day, years down the line, I hope to see it like that. And I really want a blue foliage tree. This is a, I believe it's a Wichita Falls juniper right back here. I love that. I love seeing that blue and then this red leaf and then you have the dark green, then you have this chartreuse lime color. 
I think all of that, that color palette is so pretty. This is like my color scheme right here. Um, just greens and pinks and some blue. But in the next photo, you'll see what kind of like flowers I really like. And then right here, this arbor does exist. This is in the garden right now. And uh, I love the placements of it. In my render here, I kind of like perfected my um, pathway. You know, I don't have like a perfect curve and I kind of just quickly made this pathway because I had so many plants to put in. I was like, where am I going to plant these? And I was like, okay, let me make a bigger flower bed. So in the after, it is just, you know, tidied up a whole bunch and maybe I'll get to work on that, you know, soon. As soon as all of this ice thaws out, I'm looking down at, I'm looking at the front garden right now through this window and it is just iced over completely and then we have some oakland hollies Ooh, super pretty this right here these pyramidal shapes right here where the ac unit is that one and then this one those are southern living oakland hollies they grow in a pyramidal shape and they have a dark green leaf with like a super pretty um, lime or gold colored margin stunning absolutely stunning love them and then I have no idea what this is. I'm just gonna assume it's like a sunshine legustrum in a little tater top form, but this was in the original image. All these photos of these plants, I just like Googled them online and I was just like Photoshopping them in. Now, let me show you, let me show you the next version of this, okay? Let me show you. Oh, <laughs> I get so excited. <laughs> like as if I've already done all this planting, you guys real quick subscribe please go ahead and subscribe if you want to see me actually working towards this area and developing it like this that would mean so much to me okay anyways so look at this you guys this is incredible oh i, I like can't stop smiling when i look at it so i actually have some of these plants in right now let me let me um talk you through that so you know this is lamb's ear right here a beautiful perennial gorgeous that is in there right now and i also have it maybe like right down here and i also have some like back here but oh that is just so pretty and it does actually spill into the grass like that which i love all right this these little silver mounds right here those are in the flower bed in these spots this is called wormwood and there's one right back there. Oh, I don't know what happened to my, what happened to my marker? Okay. I do have one back there as well. I love the way that silver color polka dots around and your eye goes to this blue juniper right here. Look at that color repetition. Is that not just gorgeous? I am such a fan. I'm so happy I can finally show you what I've seen in my head for the longest time. All right, then we have some annuals right here. There's only a few annuals really that I popped in. The Super Tunia Snowdrift, a petunia variety that doesn't need any deadheading, literally gets like triple the size of what I have here probably. Those are annual. And then this is a, I, I don't know why I love this color. It's like a fuchsia. This is, well, yeah, it's a Super Tunia um, fuchsia. And I have grown that before in the front garden. So I'll throw up a photo of how that, for me and I think that pink color accents this Wigella so well that is just stunning I love 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 that I also have these delphinium right here I love delphinium and I'm gonna try to start them from seed this year so pretty and they make beautiful cut flowers anything I can use as a cut flower I also just love to plant there are some southern living Everio carex right there there's a carex in this corner and right here, just a very pretty um, feathery grassy texture. It's super important, I think, to work with different textures in your flower buds. And then right here in the corner where that delphinium is, there is an oh so easy rose in pink. And that is there and it does look a lot like that. So um, I can't believe I found a photo of the one of the exact plant kind of that looks like mine, but so pretty it's going to be its second year and then on the arbor 
I have a Miss Peggy Martin climbing rose. And right now it is not being trained to climb up because I planted it at the end of the season last year. And it's been growing quite a lot. And perhaps it'll make its way around the arbor this season and I'll get some blooms on it. But right now it's just kind of like planted right here on the side of the arbor. And it's like, it, it's like going this way. And some of the little limbs are like going down this way. <laughs> it just needs to be tied to the arbor so that it can be trained to grow up. Let me see, are there any other plants I did not point out to you? Hmm, I think I went over all of the plants. Yeah, this isn't gonna happen in one year. It's gonna be a process, but I plan to show you lots of renders like this of my garden space in all my other garden spaces as well because you get an idea of what I want to do and we can kind of like consult these photos perhaps like you know a few weeks down the line or a month when we're planting out there and say okay well we have the lambs here here and we think we should put a white jelly here will it actually fit so it's fun i think it's very fun for me and it'll be fun for you as well the viewer this is very hopeful because i deal with drainage issues in this area when it rains and we get a good bit of rain here it turns into a pool and I need to have someone come in and examine the area to help me improve the drainage. And I can't say that the soil's perfect all over either because, you know, last year I was trying to plant something right in this bottom corner right here. And I ran into like a little concrete slab and I was like, what is that? And the soil in this area is just red clay. But all this right here is dark soil, very healthy with earthworms. So, you know, each area has its own challenge and that's the fun of it though, because this could look, you know, very similar to this once I finish my garden or it'll look quite different from this. But right now it looks like this. <laughs> I laugh so much when I see that because I'm, I like, I like see this and I'm like, oh, it's just gorgeous. And then I see the, the before and it's like my reality right now. But I hope you subscribe and join me on my journey as I develop this garden space into my ideal secret garden. Oh, I just get so excited to look at this. And if you want to see um, any other renders on my channel of what I expect a certain area to look like, just uh, leave it down in the comments and I'll, you know, try to do a render here and there while I have my coffee in the morning. I enjoy this. I enjoy gardening, but I enjoy doing this as well, like so much. So yeah, uh, once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you stopping by and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.